Ready? Um, again, I'm really happy um, just with the overall team performance. You know, defensively, we did some really great things tonight and really frustrated uh, Jacksonville State. And again, I thought, I thought we fed a little bit off of that offensively. But just, just a great night on both ends of the floor for us. Uh, you know, 23 assists, you know, I always go back to that. That's like the uh, getting the best shot you can get. And I thought the 23 assists and 11 turnovers, that's, that's a really good night for us. But uh, great play. I thought our starters really set a tone. I thought our bench did a tremendous job and, and kept it going. And it's, it's really hard. I think we can wear people down um, the way we played tonight. I thought it was uh, really aggressive and, and really dominating at times. Well, how much did coming off that disappointing loss to Houston in the, in the uh, conference tournament factor in that it you know, looked like you guys were I mean, ready to get at somebody? Yeah. Well, we still want to play. You know, yeah. we, we still want to keep going, and we still can accomplish a lot. And I think being home for us was big, back uh, where we know and uh, where everybody's just so excited. So uh, it gave us motivation. Obviously, you know, we wish we could change things, but we can't. So we're going to take what we have, and we're going to do what we can. You said you can still accomplish a lot. What do you feel this team can accomplish? We can, go, we can go win WNIT. I mean, that's the goal, but one game at a time. We can't look too, too far ahead. Uh, starts with one practice, one game, and, and togetherness. Chris, I want to ask you too. You guys last played on March 8th, came back home, of course. How did the rest factor in there? I don't know what you guys are about. I assume you guys practice a lot, but I mean, not playing games since March 8th. Were you guys really rested? Or? Uh, yeah. Uh, I think this past weekend we had a two off days, and we haven't had that in a while. So just being able to rest our legs for a little while and then come back to practice and get, get back at it, going hard, and just coming back today, and we were able to just run the other team because we were just rested. Let's talk about the scout, because you guys' execution, execution was just, I don't even know what word for it, but y'all just jumped on it basically. Just, you know, talk, what was the scout? What were you guys trying to do with that? To yeah, um, I think every game, I mean, we all have our scouting reports, reports and we study them and we just knew what each player does. And I think us being a bigger team, our length also, um, messed with them a little bit and just being able to rebound out of it and not giving them too many chances. So. Coach, it looked like they had a really tough time getting to the rim, uh, and that looked like that bothered them. I guess they used to taking people off the rim. I mean, I've never seen them play, but that's what it looked like. They were frustrated not being able to get to the rim. Just, you know, we can talk about that for a second. Well, I think Chris said, I, I thought our size bothered them a little bit. You know, you, you drive in there and you had Mia in there, or you had, uh, yeah, we got to the point where we didn't feel like we had to overhelp when they drove into our post players. I thought Anija had some really good plays in there and Irina. Um, so when they drove in the lane, we, we had somebody there. Um, again, I, I thought our size really bothered them. You know, we went to that zone just because we felt like we could spread out and, and we were pretty big in that. So um, I, I felt like we got out on the shooters and really stopped a lot of their rhythm. Um, and it's hard when you don't score, it's, it's frustrating. And, and uh, you could just see you know, over time that just wearing them down a little bit. But um, again, I, I thought there was just some great things. They, they're a good rebounding team, and we really dominated the boards and, and kept them off the offensive glass, and, and that really helped us a lot because that's something that they live by. I mean, Jacksonville State does a really good job of getting extra shots, and they didn't get them tonight. I think y'all ended the first ball on the 13 and 4, and they started the second ball on the 12. Yeah. And, and you know, we've got those, got those rebounds and got some runouts, and that kind of gave us a little – confidence and gave us some freedom offensively but um, you know one thing it's it is a game of confidence and I just told the team that and I thought that today you know we were probably a little tight in the first few minutes and then we we got comfortable and and you know started moving the ball and doing things and I thought we were, were much better after that and and then you could see us just kind of relax a little bit but you know we were tremendously disappointed in our last game and I'm just so thankful this t team had a chance to come out and play again and really show us and everyone else, you know, what we can do. How, how big was it to, I don't know where it was, but I got the minutes right here. I mean, you played a lot of people a lot of minutes. I, you know, just talk about the significance of that. Obviously, you got a game coming up Monday. So. Well, I mean, I think at this point, we're so used to playing a lot anyway and, and fatigue. I mean, it, it's good because we get tomorrow off. You know, if we played Sunday, we, we'd have to go two days to prepare. So tomorrow they get off and we can rest there. But, um, you know, I, I thought that the second team, when, when we subbed those five in, I thought they, they did some great things and, um, you know, again, wore them down. And, it, you know, it's hard when 
these guys get to rest and then they come back full force. And uh, I thought that really helped us in that first half today and probably just, just extended that lead going into halftime. Yeah, and I mean, defensively, they did, they did a super job. They were, they were really, you talk about long. I mean, they were really long. We had Sierra at the top of it, and, you know, she, they just couldn't get a shot up over there. So, um, but, yeah, I, I thought they did a good job. And then these guys could come in and, and again, be fresh and, and their legs fresh. So. Well, what do you remember about Alabama? You guys beat them up there. Uh, what do you remember about that game? It's just them, you know, what they try to do and yeah. why you guys were so successful in that game. Uh, I think – we locked down on defense when we needed to. I think we have to start that earlier, but a team that moves, a team that shoots the ball well, um, run plays very efficient, efficiently. I think uh, from start to finish, we, we have to be locked in. Uh, sometimes we start off slow, and that's, that's caught us before. Um, so just a 40-minute game. We have to all be on the same page. We can't have mental lapses, and uh, it's going to be a, a, good, a good game. You think this team can go far in this tournament? I know this team could go far in this tournament because I believe in them, and uh, we've we've done so much already. And I don't even think we've reached our peak. We've had great games. We have, I, I agree. But when all five of us and the bench players come out and we're just all on the same same page and we're all on the same cylinders, we can be dangerous. We can be so much better than we are, and we're already good. Um, but still, some things to wrink out. Still, some things to figure out. But uh, we, we're going to, and uh, we're going to show that in this run we're about to make. Coach, even with the loss at Wichita State. I think what makes us such a good team is that we have so many weapons. Like you saw when the first five came out, the second five came in, and they were just as good as us, if not better. So I think that's what makes this team special. And another thing is that second team in practice, they're coming at us, and we're just continuing to get better and better at each practice. And they're, they're not holding back, and they're making us work. So I think that helps us. <laughs> That's the way it's supposed to be, right? Um, but, you know, I, I think we're going to just say it's February since we didn't lose a game in February. So we're going to say, you know, from now on it's February. And that, that's our goal, finishing out. But, um, you know, the nice thing, too, is the next two games, I mean, we've played Alabama and we beat Alabama at Alabama. You know, potentially we, we could play the next one would be one of our conference schools. And, um, you know, we feel like we're in good shape there. So, uh, you know, it's, it's nice playing at home. It really helps. Um, but, you know, our goal was to cut down nets this year, and, you know, we still have a chance to do that. So I'm hoping that we can have that opportunity. I looked on the little sheet that you had out for you. I couldn't even see the bracket. Who would you play, you know, if you get past out? I mean, I know you're not looking ahead, but you mentioned a conference team. Uh, Houston, for, I think, is going to play. Um, we'll get to you on that It's either SMU or um, Tennessee Tech, right? Uh, no, Houston or Tennessee. Yeah, oh, yeah. Tennessee Tech won? Yeah. Okay. So Houston plays Tennessee Tech next. Right. Okay. So we would potentially play one of those two if we win, if we beat. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? SMU Tennessee Tech is still going on. You, you're giving us bad information. <laughs> I mean, bad information over there. The misinformation coming from the back. Um, but. But I, I think that I think one thing I'm excited about is you know you're playing SEC school in Alabama who you know had a big win they beat Tennessee I think at Tennessee um, they're a really good team but I don't have to worry about our team being up for that game you know I think they'll be excited about it I think it's a, you know they're they're a good team it's a great matchup so we'll be focused. So it's the first time I covered uh, Tulane women's basketball and you guys are pretty dominant. Three-point shots, they, they were 20%, I think, from the three-point line. And uh, at some point, you, I think with five minutes left in the, or say in the game, you were up by 50 points. Yeah. Do you expect that? Do, I mean, is it not, not by the fact you were up by 50 no, points. No, I'm, I'm really glad you were here tonight. We don't always win by that much. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, I really um, – I think this team is better than they – I thought Jacksonville State was pretty good. I mean, they played Florida Gulf Coast really close in their tournament and they beat Liberty. So, you know, I definitely thought it would be a closer game. I mean, I felt like we could win it. Um, but we were dominating tonight. And, I mean, we shot – like when you look, shoot 51% from the field and 66 from the three-point line, that's hard to beat you. I think at one point in the first half they were one for 15 or 16 from the three-point line. 
Talk about your defense, or were they just missing? But it, I, I think it had a lot to do with your defense. And throughout the game, with all that scoring, you guys did. Yeah, I, I thought we challenged their threes pretty pretty much. I, there wasn't a lot of them that were unchallenged. And, you know, they, they made one step back three that I, it was a great shot. I mean, that was one of the threes they made. So, I, I mean, I, I thought we did a pretty good job of finding the shooters and, and finding the right people, uh, which made a big difference. And then and then we got the defensive rebound. So then they didn't have another one, which was, was really key. you expect that type of not, not of course I do. Of course I expect this. Of course I expect all of this against Alabama. Y'all got it? Okay. Um, you know, you'd love to expect it, but, I, you know, I, I think this team is, um, again, we've done some really good things this season. We've played really well. Um, you know, we've, we've had a tough schedule, and, and I think we've, we've met that challenge, and um, I expect the team to do it again.